Hey guys, I'm gonna go over my uh, Milsom West kit uh, for a raid on Rostov, like I said I would. So here's everything. This will be a few part video going over everything in depth, uh, just so you can get a better idea of what to bring, and so you can use this video as a reference point. Um, so yeah. Alright, so here's my rucksack. Um, right now I got the day pack attached to it, as you can see. Um, so yeah, there it is. I'm just going to be going over what's in uh, the rucksack itself. So, uh, I'll take the day pack off. Um, I'm doing this with one hand because I'm using my phone. So, alright, here we go. If uh, I go off camera or whatever, um, or if, it goes, if the uh, pack goes out of frame, don't worry. Just trying to do this real quick. Alright, day pack's off. And there's the rock itself. Alright, so going over uh, what's inside, I'll stand it up. Um, right here, I just have the, uh, the lid of the pack. I'm going to be taking this off because uh, it's basically one compartment. And um, I can show you what's inside. Alright. So, there's the lid. Inside of it. That's the uh, contents, just some plastic bags, but uh, um, so yeah, everything you need, I guess, is in here. I just have the uh, packing list, paracord, um, two trash bags, uh, toothbrush. I will have uh, toothpaste with this. It's always good to be. Uh, or have some hygiene, um, especially in the morning and at night. If uh, you get a break and you want to brush your teeth, it'll make you feel a little more refreshed, not have bad breath or anything. Uh, lighter for melting the paracord, and then deodorant because no one really wants to smell you or be smelled. Um, extra batteries and an emergency blanket. Uh, I think that's pretty much it in the lid, so I'll set that aside, and then there's the uh, contents laid out. Oh yeah, uh, medic supplies, um, yeah, I got a, uh, on the day pack, I've got an actual medic pouch with, every, with a bigger kit in there, but this is kind of like some extra stuff I had, so yeah. That stuff over. All right. So on the rucksack itself, I got a bedroll on the outside. Um, this would be great if you want to get some padding when you're sleeping, or if nothing else, you can use it as a pillow. Uh, I picked it up at uh, Joe's Army Navy for I think ten dollars. So I'll just take uh, that off. Sorry, hands in the way. Alright. Uh, on to the pack. Um, this is a top loader pack, but it also has a uh, zip down the center. So it's nice. This is my uh, Mystery Ranch saddle. Alright, so inside you can kind of see the contents, um, propane tank and whatnot. Uh, Alright, and then. Pull the center zip down. And there's the contents. So, it's all kind of jumbled in there right now because it is more of a top loader. And um, there's not as much organization, I guess. But nonetheless, it all fits. So, going over the contents. Got a propane tank. This is uh, obviously for um, my pistol. If I decide to use it. Uh, ESS goggles, uh, 
always good to have a spare set of iPro in case uh, my M frames or your M frames or whatever else you're using um, doesn't keeps fogging off or something. Uh, here's the um, case for my Spectre DR at nighttime. Um, if uh, you, you can't really look through it, so it's I'll probably just run iron sights. Um, all right, uh, first aid. This is just an empty one, just to show a reference. Um, you can find these at Walmart, um, Meyer, uh, pretty much anywhere that uh, sells camping supplies and whatnot. So, if uh, you need some med kit, um, this is great to get. It's like thirteen dollars or whatever. So yeah. All right, now onto the uh, MREs. I got pork rib, uh, meatballs, or yeah, meatballs, um, and sloppy joe. I have three there, just because you got to cover Friday night dinner, Saturday uh, breakfast, uh, Saturday dinner, and Sunday breakfast. You can probably skip out on a, a Saturday lunch simply by just eating snacks that you bring. Um, in regards to snacks, I do not have any on me right now, just because that, that'll be something that I buy uh, a day or two before the event when we're uh, driving down there. So, <clears throat> same with water. I don't have any water in my uh, bladders right now. But, uh, sleeping bag. This is a uh, Marmot Nanowave 55. It's, uh, I bought it for 70 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods. Maybe you can find it for cheaper online. But, um, the size of it is perfect for a uh, rucksack or any pack, really. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then I got a tarp. I believe this is a 10x10 10 10 tarp in woodland. Uh, this would be great for making a shelter in case it does rain. Or if anything else, it'll protect you from the sun during the day. If you're, uh on break after a mission, so get some shade and whatnot. Also the uh, paracord that I have in the lid, that'll be used to uh, rig that up to a tree or something. Um, and that pretty much covers it in the main roof outside of the uh, side pockets, which will go over in the top. Alright, so I got one bladder here, this is a 2 liter bladder, and then on that side, I got a three liter bladder, so I can carry obviously five liters. Um, so this is gonna be down in South Carolina and you do need to hydrate. Um, I decided to account for five liters of water, that way I don't necessarily run out. Even though uh, the medic regen system, to respawn and back into the game, you have to down a uh, full, I believe 16 ounce water bottle, um, but still. That pretty much covers the uh, inside, and then I got two pockets on the outside. Sorry if the camera's being retarded, but uh, and then inside here, I got a tank top. That's usually what I'll wear under my combat shirt. Um, spare set of underwear, extra pair of socks. Always good to have those just in case. Um, if you change. If you only bring like two sets of underwear for the whole trip, you really only need to pack two pair. Uh, change uh, once before the event on Friday, and then you can probably get away with uh, that set of underwear and change when you're driving on your way home. Uh, then in the other pocket, uh, I've got the same. Uh, underwear and um, socks. So that's basically the contents of my rucksack. Um, it's not too heavy, but that's also without water uh, and snacks. So yeah, this uh, concludes the rucksack portion, and I'll move on to uh, my day pack over there so oh yeah one more thing um, in regards to a rucksack to carry what you need um, 
it's probably best if you have, I'd say maybe over 2,500 square, or square, 2,500 cubic inches of space. Um, it's just going to allow you to hold more, uh, because anything less than that, I don't think you could fit everything that I've got in my pack into something that's 2,500 cubic feet. Um, Unless you have Molly on the outside and you want to attach things on the outside. Um, but yeah, the, uh, my Mystery Ranch saddle, that's 3,650 cubic feet, or cubic inches, sorry. Um, so yeah, the day pack over there is another 1,120. So in total, I've got 4,470 um, cubic inches of space. Uh, technically, if I wanted to, I could throw everything in the... Uh, the day pack into my ruck but just because I need something on me and for the uh, during day missions and whatnot um, when I'm right away from the ruck I'm gonna have to obviously throw stuff in the day pack so yeah, I just thought I'd add that in there